Yesterday, we talked about the massive drop that's about to come on Bitcoin, how Bitcoin's gonna drop down to 31,850 to 32,500. That's our current price target. And ever since that video yesterday, Bitcoin has been going through a major correction at filling the CME futures gap. But today, we're gonna talk about three different altcoins that you are probably already invested in. And I'm gonna tell you why they're about to drop quite a lot. I'm gonna tell you where they're gonna drop. And I'm also gonna tell you why that is one of the best pieces of news that you are going to hear all week on your favorite layer one protocol. So let's get started. Remember, Bitcoin is probably going to drop down to about 32,500. A quick recap on why that's going to happen. Bitcoin is following a very similar pattern that Bitcoin followed in 2019, leading into the last bull market in 2021. We saw Bitcoin rally up to the 0.786 level, which in 2019, uh, about June or so, we hit that local high at $13,800. Bitcoin would then fall back down to the 0.618 region, which was around $9,700. Then we would drop down to the 0.5 region, which was even lower, and we'd actually drop down to about the 0.4, almost down to 0.3, um, almost down to the next Fibonacci level below that. But Bitcoin would end up going into a massive rally after bottoming out around six to $7,000, not including the pandemic drop. Uh, we would end up rallying about 1,000% from there. And I think something similar is gonna happen on Bitcoin. We have rallied up to the 0.786 level on Bitcoin. We've dropped back down to the Fibonacci, which is at 38K. We're probably gonna drop down to 0.5. So 2019's pre-bull market, pre-halving pattern is repeating. Although this time I think it's gonna take a little bit less time because we're so much closer to halving. Recap done. Whew. Go back and watch yesterday's video if you want more information on that. However, the thing that we need to talk about in today's video is the implication that's going to have on your favorite altcoins. Quite simply, there are three altcoins that are leading the layer one space right now, and they are none other than Solana, Ethereum, and Cardano. And I want to talk about them in that order because they, that is the order of the uh, significance that I think they're going to play in the next bull market. We've got Solana coming in as one of the biggest contenders for top five status this bull market. Anatoly Yankovinko. I hope I said his name right, is an absolute legend. If you guys don't know, Solana was founded by a 13-year uh, senior software engineer over at Qualcomm. Anatoly Yakovenko worked on quite a lot of early technology that went into the first uh, first smartphones. Um, and this guy had to get very, very good at creating highly, highly, highly efficient code. He took that, worked at Dropbox for a little bit, and then left and got into Bitcoin in 2017. And then in, 20, in 2019, 2020, he started working on Solana and the five co-founders created this project, raised $3 million in seed in seed funding. And those people that put the $3 million in the first seed fund, in the first seed round made about a million percent return, not a million times, million percent return on their investment. And the reason that it did so well is because Solana paved the way with something called proof of history. Proof of history essentially works kind of similarly to proof of stake, except there's one massive efficiency update that is highly complicated, but it basically boils down to this. On a normal blockchain, you have to get all of the computers, all the validators, all the nodes together to determine what the order of the block should be. And that takes a lot of time. Proof of history essentially allows each one of the blocks on Solana to have a timestamp on them so you can validate the blocks. And then after the validation has been taken place, after the transactions have gone through, then the blocks can be ordered based on the timestamp. That seems quite simple. And you might wonder, well, why isn't that in every blockchain? There's a quite a lot of complicated mathematics behind it, but nevertheless, it came to be. And that is one of the big things that makes Solana insanely lightning fast. 400 milliseconds transaction time fees are oftentimes under a second. And many of you are probably wondering, Jeb, wait a minute, last bull market, you were a massive hater on Solana. And I was. So you're probably wondering, well, Jeb, why are you all of a sudden so bullish on it? Well, there's an update in, I think it was May of this year. It was adopted by the validators. And ever since then, there's not been a single second of downtime on the Solana network. The last time there was downtime, I believe was February 27th. There's a website, I think it's called status.solana.com. You can go to some website, something like that. And you can see the downtime. The last time there was any downtime on Solana was over, was almost a year ago now. And we've got reasons to believe that that's going to um, stay at zero. 100% uh, uptime, 0% downtime. So pretty excited about Solana. They've got the Solana phones coming out, the Saga phones. Um, there's a lot of integration with artificial intelligence. And I do believe Solana is going to go to $400 to $600 in this bull market. But in the short term, Solana is probably going to drop down to 50 to 70 And there's a technical reason for that. With Bitcoin going into a correction... Solana is very likely going to go through a very similar correction because it actually has the exact same market structure as Bitcoin does. Solana rallied up to the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level. That was $126 run we saw a little while ago. Fell back down to a critical parabolic uptrend. Linear. It's a straight line on the log chart. It's a parabolic uptrend if you were to draw it on the linear chart. But nevertheless, we fell back to that uptrend. And uh, yesterday, we predicted we'd probably break below it. And two hours later, uh, Solana did break below it. 
And that means that Solana is now falling back to the 0.618 level. Well, that's around 80 and change. Well, that's basically where Solana is right now. I'm sorry. The 0.65 is around 80, which is where we've fallen to. 0.618 is around $71 on Solana, and I'm expecting that we're going to fall back to that level. We've been talking about a $71 Solana for a month now. Um, if there was going to be a correction, that that's where we would go. We're very close to that. And if we do fall to the same level that Bitcoin is going to fall to, that we expect it's going to fall to, to the 0.5, then the symmetrical level on Solana would be uh, about 40 I don't want to say this wrong. I think it's about $48 right now. So look out for potentially a $50 Solana. There's another uptrend down there that it could catch. Solana will probably fall to the top of those, whichever one is higher at the time. So either about $48 or that uptrend. The uptrend right now is around 40. So obviously 48 is higher than that for now. A month from now, the uptrend will be higher. So within the next month, bottom for Solana, uh, looking to be like 50 bucks. It could drop down to 55 or 60 if it hits that uptrend and it takes longer. In short, if Solana takes longer to drop, its bottom will be higher. If it drops really quickly, its bottom will be lower. But in short, I think somewhere between 48 and $58 will be the eventual bottom on Solana. So call it 50 cents. I said, I said cents, dollars. Call it about $50. Uh, I think Solana is going to drop all the way down to, which means great buying opportunities. We'll get to buying opportunities in a minute. Now, I also wanna talk a little bit about Ethereum. Ethereum is going through a correction. Unlike Solana, so Ethereum has massive, massive massive fees it's quite a lot slower than solana you can have a you can have um settlement in as little as 10 seconds but that's still nothing close to 400 milliseconds but the one thing that solana does have over solana is that it's got massively more developers there are thousands of devs working on ethereum more than any other chain more than the next 10 combined however that might change soon because there's been something that came out uh, so, uh solang came out so if you don't know what that is that allows for um Ethereum developers are going to build on Solana without having to learn Rust, which is their very low-level programming language, which is very complicated. So I think you're going to see an exodus of developers leaving Ethereum because of its latency and because of its fees to Solana over the next 12 months. But nevertheless, Ethereum is still top dog, and it probably will be for a very long time. Unlike Solana, it does have, there is a broad consensus and understanding that it is a commodity. So we'll see how that plays out. The securities argument against Solana is pretty strong because of the way the ICO was done. So that's going to be a, fe a feature, but nevertheless, Ethereum is probably going to drop down to about $1,800. There's an uptrending level of support that I think we're going to drop down to. Lux Algo's got a sell signal on Ethereum. Ethereum is also in very similar market structure to Bitcoin, except a little bit lower. We rallied up to 0.65. We're correcting from there. Um, the uptrending level of support that Ethereum's looking at right now sits around $1,750. By the time we get there, it's probably around $1,800 to $1,820. So, if Bitcoin drops, the altcoins are going to drop in proportion. I think that's where Ethereum is going to go. Again, excellent buying opportunity. We'll get to that in a minute because Ethereum has certain advantages over Solana that Solana doesn't. So both of them are good investments for the bull market. Um, it's going to take a lot longer than just one bull market to figure out if, if one's going to completely destroy the other one. And the third I want to talk about is Cardano. Now, there's more information coming up on Thursday because we are working on a Cardano, a, a Cardano Climate of Crypto episode right now, so stay tuned for that. But I do believe that the bottom on Cardano is going to be about 40 to 42 cents. I made that prediction on December 14th last year, and it's now over a month later, and that prediction seems to be coming true. We've dropped down to about 45 cents. Right now, recording this is around 48. I think we probably will see Cardano capitulate all the way down to about 40 cents. After that, there is one of the biggest bulwarks of VRVP support that I have ever seen on any chart because Cardano did so much trade trading between 25 cents and 40 cents that I don't think you would drop very far into the 40s. But Cardano is likely going to spend the next two months trading sideways as a result of Bitcoin's bearishness that we are now going into. So the four major price predictions I want to bring to you. Bitcoin's going to 31,850 to 32,500. Solana's going to 50 to 70, probably more like 50 to 55. Ethereum's probably going down to about 1,800 to 1,900. Let's call it 1,800. And Cardano, I think, is going to 40 cents. And I think that this correction will last between four to eight weeks, about a month to two months. And from there, I think that you're going to see a massive rally. Cardano has seen a lot of growth on TVL. I need to see a lot more, but it has seen growth. There's still some good development going on at Cardano. Um, Solana, obviously, I listed out all of its great qualities. Ethereum, there's a potential of an Ethereum ETF. BlackRock's looking into an Ethereum ETF. BlackRock has never been denied an ETF other than one a long time ago, and they even got the, the Bitcoin ETF that they applied for approved. So we very well may see a change in administration, Gary Gensler, go the way of Gary the Snail into the archives of Nickelodeon and 
we'll finally see an ETF approval for Ethereum. And uh, so there are advantages that ETH has over Sol, but I think those are going to be the two front runners. Cardano could be your underdog coming into the bull market. If it can really come into its own and it can get a lot of development on the layer two ecosystem, then it will do spectacularly. All three of them, I think, can more than 10x from those bottoms that I shared with you. Solana drops to 50 cents. I could easily see, sorry, to $50. I could easily see it going to $500. Cardano drops to... Uh, 1800 I could see it at least going to 10000 That's more than a 5x from that level. Cardano drops to $0.40. Cents. I think it'll go back to all-time high. That's an 8x from there. It could go higher, especially if there's some good adoption on the Layer 2 side of things, on the DAP and DeFi side of things. So stay tuned. Continue to dollar cost average. And your takeaway that I want you to have for this video, other than just the price predictions, is that if you are sitting on a massive amount of cash or you have a large amount of um, money coming in every month, it might not be a bad time to like double how much dollar cost averaging you're doing every week. If you're doing 500 bucks a week, maybe do 1,000. If you're doing 250, maybe do 500. If you're doing 100, maybe do 200. If you're doing 10, maybe do 20. Um, during the duration of this correction, because you really want to take advantage of these lower entries to lower your average cost basis. And then if we do go into that, ma that major bull market as we expect we will, then you're going to have even more cheap coins that you can sell at the top, make a pretty penny, and then reinvest it into your financial sovereignty system. Stay tuned because we got a lot more content coming on Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency space, how to invest in it and succeed in it. But if you're new here, my name is Jeb. I've been working in the cryptocurrency space for almost seven years. I've been investing in the cryptocurrency space since I was 16 years old. And I love working in crypto because I love talking about financial wisdom and about markets and technical analysis. And I love studying markets and learning. So if you want to learn more about crypto, subscribe to the channel, hit that post notification bell so you won't miss a single upload and stay tuned because there is more to come. Peace.